Hi, I'm Tony Allen Bernier, and in this video, we're going to be making a cool little roll top satchel. I use a 5 8 inch buckle in the video, but there's four different intervals all the way up to one inch if you want to use a little bit thicker buckle. The pattern's designed for a kit style pattern for hand sewing and a machine pattern. So with the kit style, every hole is marked. You just punch where it says punch a hole, sew it together like a kit. And the machine style, which I'll show both in the video, allows you to really pump these out on a sewing machine if you're looking to sell a bunch. Before we get started, I'd like to thank the Leather Crafters and Saddlers Journal for sponsoring my channel. They do a lot for the community. I suggest checking them out. Whenever you're cutting into a corner like this, start in the corner and cut away. So I'll stop short and then finish the cut by coming from this side. If it's not letting go, don't try to pull this part out. Come back in there again and see if you can just nick where it's sticking. Otherwise you'll get fuzzies and stuff will be pulled out. And where it's real close right here, you always start in the corner like I said. I'll tip my knife a little higher and just rock it back and forth as I press this leather into the blade. Get to the other side, pull it up. Do the same thing from this side. That way I'm not pulling the blade and if I slip I'm not cutting into anything important. I like to go over the edge once like that. And since we're going to back stitch, instead of going over twice with each one of these, I'll just go over this once. And then just start following back here and lock these in. Pulling the stitches just a little bit tighter so it bunches up just a tiny bit. And then stretching it afterwards really helps tighten those stitches, lock them in so you won't see them when you flip this around. Here it is, a little bit fuller. You can go fuller than that, or you can go less than that. I'm 
In order to get a good alignment with the parts if you're sewing on a machine, I like to just cut, keep these and cut them. So I can use that to mark and then go from those marks. And I know that's where I want my seam to be. So I can line those up from side to side and then kind of picks up a spot on there and just bring it down to there. Make sure it's straight. And you can glue these down if you just want to simplify it even more. I like to slow down, take a look, and adjust the stitches if I need to go a little wider, a little narrower. That's gonna be good. If you have a sewing machine with an arm, like I can pull this table off and get that in there and then be able to sew that on there. So if you decide to rivet this on, since you're using like a chrome tan or a milled veg tan or something that's soft, I suggest using this separate template so you can glue something on the back of that. It'll keep those rivets from pulling through this soft leather. Before you get too far, make sure you get these lined up down at the bottom here and feed it in. You can really whip a bunch of these out if you're doing them on a sewing machine. Stop once in a while, take a look. Make sure that needle's in the leather if you're going to be manipulating stuff around, otherwise you're going to slide off that alignment. If you need to slow down, even turn it by hand when you get to these corners. Make sure that needle's on the way back up. Spin a little bit. You can give it a stitch or two. A little bit of a spin. Take a look. Make sure the ends are going to line up. Hold them together, lined up. And you can see it starts to kick underneath there. Sometimes you'll have to stop, make sure that pressure foot gets up on top of there. And if you want to turn by hand by a couple, you can.